Okay, welcome back to a quick little uh, tutorial here um, on lighting and Arnold. So here we just have a very simple little scene. Um, nothing fancy. Uh, make sure your render is set to Arnold. Um, we'll go over these render settings in another video. Um, I usually set it to 540 um, for test renders, which you'll see why here in a minute. Um, 1080 is usually final renders, but um, 540 works. So, all right, so once you have that, now we'll go through some of the light and the light types that work with Arnold. So right now, if I just turn this on, this is the interactive preview render, which there are no lights turned on, so we have nothing. But this interactive preview render really helps uh, to be able to see what's going on because I can set up a light and turn it on. And see it over here in my um, interactive preview, and I can rotate it. Get things just right where I want them. And it'll let you isolate. Um, lights so you could turn one off and see you know do you like it with the outside light do you not want it with the outside light okay so the interactive preview render super important keep that window open all right um okay so let's start with the light that is easiest to work with. So if you go to your Arnold tab, if you just hit create physical light, you're gonna get a sky dome, okay? When I turn that sky dome on, this is basically what I get, okay? Now I can go in here and I can adjust uh, the color, I can adjust the intensity. We could really crank up the intensity if we want to. Um, but it's it's a pretty basic light, okay? You got your color, intensity. That's all you really need to know for right now. Remember, this is just basics. So this will give you basic illumination in your scene, mostly for outside scenes. Uh, right now, I'm lighting an interior, so, you know, this... This helps to bring a little bit of light into the scene, but not much. Um, now, another cool thing about the sky dome lights is I can set it up with a, come on, there we go. I can set it up with a HDR image, which, all of this lighting is being derived from this HDR image. So, um, I could switch it out to this other one. There we go. And now it's getting its lighting information from a from another image, which we can rotate it to get the sun where we want it. Oops.
but working with HDRI images, you can um, you can get a lot of free lighting information. Um, I mean, it brings light into the room, lights bouncing around, so gives you something to start with anyway. Um, I'm going to go back to the other one. That one was better. So that's what an HDR image looks like. It's it's a 360 degree high dynamic range image. You can uh, find them for free online pretty much anywhere. Um, tons of free ones. So I'm gonna readjust this once I get a nice sunset look. And that gives you the lighting information, but then you might still have to adjust the uh, the image outside the window because it might not look uh, correct. But we're not going to go into that right now. Um, okay, so there's sky domes, and then you also have the uh, under the Arnold tab, which for the most part, if you're working in Arnold. Um, these light types that are in Arnold are going to do the job. Um, so here's an area light. And oh, there we go. All right. So if you look up here, the area light is just a big rectangular light. So, um, I usually use this more for like ambient lighting, uh, just to get some light into the scene, not necessarily directional light. Um, like if I paired that with the sky dome, now I've got more light on the inside of the room, but I still have that sunset look. So where if I turn that area light off, you know, there's light in the room, but you don't see the objects as well as with that area light. But that area light's not disturbing the shadows from the that exterior lighting either. Um, okay, so with the... Um, with the area light, you'll want to pay attention to color, obviously. Um, you know, we could change it to red or blue or yellow or whatever color we want. Um, and then intensity. You can totally dial up the intensity as far as you want or as low as you want. Um, a lot of this is just finding the right numbers. Um, now, an important thing to note is if your scene seems a little dark, like when you initially make these lights, it'll be at one and one, which will show nothing. If you dial up the intensity, it still doesn't really do anything. So you need to dial up the exposure. Now, the exposure that you want to set your scene at will just depend on your scene scale and uh, sometimes the light type itself it'll change. So once I find a good um, exposure, then I'll just dial back my intensity to whatever I want it to be. So if I want it to be really bright, you know, then I'll use that. 
or I'll dial it back. Um, you can tell it not to cast shadows, which there you can see it, you know, took out that shadow down there, which can be useful if, you know, you're just using this for um, ambient lighting and you don't want those extra shadows. Um, so yeah, pay attention to color intensity and under the Arnold tab exposure, which for most of these lights, same thing. Um, so area lights, the mesh lights, are a weird light type. Um, they emit light from a mesh. So I basically copied this central sphere, moved it up, and then made it a light. So in certain cases, that can be what you're looking for if you have a specifically shaped uh, light bulb or something like that that you want to um, do and you want to be able to see the the light bulb and you can always add a glow on top of that later um, so yeah mesh lights work um, so we can turn that off and then And then we have the uh, spotlight. So here's your Arnold spotlight. And that's same idea. Um, you've got your intensity color under Arnold, adjust your exposure and you should be good um, and you can use um, you know any of these with each other like they can be combined into you know whatever um, whatever kind of lighting setup you want. There we go. So that's with the, the area light, the sky dome light and the spotlight all working together there. And I can always turn these off, off and on. So, uh, let's see. And then sky dome and physical sky are essentially the same thing. Uh, light portals are a whole different use case scenario, so you don't have to worry about those right now. Um, and then under regular lights that work with Arnold. Um, okay, ambient light. In the case of ambient lights, I always just use the um, the Arnold area light for my ambient lighting. It's easier to control. And then directional light. So I'm gonna turn off this spotlight. The directional light is just a parallel direction. So it, um, like this one's kind of outside the window right now, but the, the light is pointing down. So there's nothing 
Here it's just pointing across the scene. You can think of it like sunlight, but um, these non-Arnold lights are not going to be um, as physically accurate as um, the Arnold lights to work with. Um, and then we've got the point light. So we'll turn that one on. So here's point light. Now point light in some software, it's called an omni light. So point light, omni light, basically the same thing. Um, it basically just emits light 360 degrees. Um, so wherever wherever you put it, it doesn't really have a, um, a specific direction. It's um, omnidirectional. So. And once again, that's kind of the same thing. Adjust your intensity and the uh, exposure here. So if you go too far on the exposure, it'll, it'll let you know. So we could crank that to like four if we wanted to. Um, So uh, that's your point lights, and then you have spotlight, which we already looked at. So there's your spotlight. So we went over the sky domes, area lights, directional lights, point lights, area lights. So all of those light types will work with, um, with Arnold. So, and with the interactive preview renderer, you can, uh, like I said, you can turn these on and off to suit whatever, um, whatever look you're going for. And that should um, that should do it as far as um, basic lighting. So game on.